Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now in this video, I'm going to explain you about the elasticity of demand, the meaning of elasticity of demand, and what are the factors influencing the elasticity of demand. And lastly, what are the different types of elasticity of demand? These three topics I'll explain you in detail. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command on the topic of this economics. So before this last video, I have explained you about the law of demand. What are the exceptions to the law of demand? What is demand curve? These things already I have explained in the last video. So if you have not watched, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject business economics. Select the video unit number two that is demand analysis. Watch the earlier videos. Be acquainted with the complete meaning of the term demand. Determinants of demand. Then next one is types of demand. And lastly, law of demand. So now before starting this elast elasticity of demand, take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board. Then I'll explain the complete concept of elasticity of demand. Come on. The meaning of the term elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand is defined as the proportionate change in the quantity demanded of a commodity due to the proportionate change in the determinants under consideration. So before this, I'll recap the points what I have discussed in the last video. Demand of a commodity depends on a number of determinants like the price, the income of the people, then the price of related goods, advertising. There are many factors which affects demand. And the factors which affect the demand are called determinants of demand. So here elasticity of demand will show the proportionate change in the demand of a commodity due to the proportionate change in the determinants under consideration. Determinants under consideration. So if there is a slight change in the determinant, corresponding change in the demand of commodity. Corresponding change in the demand of commodity. So simple words, elasticity of demand shows the proportionate change in the demand of a commodity due to the proportionate change in the determinant under consideration. Now, it is defined as the percentage change in the quantity demanded of a commodity caused by 1% change in the determinant of demand under consideration. If there is 1% change in the determinant of demand, what is the percentage change in the quantity demanded? Example, I'll give you, suppose price. Price is the determinant. Whenever there is a change in the price, correspondingly change in the quantity demanded. So what is the percentage change in quantity demanded due to 1% change in the price? Similarly, another example, another determinant is income. One more determinant of demand is income. Suppose there is 1% change in income. What would be the percentage change in demand? That is called elasticity of demand. Now, elasticity of demand is, uh, is the degree of responsiveness of the demand for a commodity due to a fall in its price. So simply, if we say price elasticity of demand, we can say what is the percentage change in the quantity demanded due to the percentage change in the price of that commodity. Now, the elasticity of demand is defined, is denoted by the symbol ED. This is the symbol we'll use to denote elasticity of demand, ED. And the equation for elasticity of demand is as follows. So mathematically, we can express the relationship of elasticity of demand. That means 
proportionate change in the quantity demanded of that commodity quantity demanded of that commodity divided by proportionate change proportionate change in the determinant of that commodity so formula will be like this proportionate change in the quantity demanded divided by proportionate change in the determinant of demand under consideration under consideration the fact this is the meaning till now i have explained you the meaning of the term elasticity of demand now what are the factors which influence the elasticity of demand see here elasticity of demand is not same for every type of commodity for some commodity the elasticity of demand is huge for some commodity the elasticity of demand is less whereas some commodities are there no elasticity that means whatever is the change in the determinant the demand will remain same exactly same that is called inelastic inelastic means no elasticity best example i'll give you salt namak salt so the demand for salt normally does not depend on the price of salt whatever be the price of salt we will consume the salt in the same quantity if the uh, suppose the price of the salt is a little bit 10 rupees per kilogram we will consume the same commodity if the price of salt goes to 100 rupees per kilogram we consume the same quantity if the price of salt has come down to 1 rupee per kilogram we will not consume more we we'll consume the same so the demand the elasticity of demand for salt is inelastic no elasticity at all but other products apart from salt now we'll come to ac or car refrigerator led for these type of goods the elasticity of demand will be different not inelastic it is sensitive while whenever there is a change in the income change in the price change in related uh, prices of related goods automatically there is change in the demand the demand is very sensitive it is affected by price it is affected by income it is affected by price of related goods so we can say the elasticity of demand does not is not same for every type of commodity different commodities will have different elasticity of demand so first factor influencing is the nature of commodity secondly availability of substitutes and complementary goods the elasticity also depends on the substitutes on the complementary goods there are many substitutes like for example if you want to purchase a car so many brands are there the cars are maruti car or hyundai car or tata car or different uh, different types of uh, models are there different models are there renault is there and different uh, types of cars we have they are substitute a person will purchase only one of the model we will not purchase all the models only one model so if we purchase a hyundai car we are not purchasing a maruti car these are substitutes complementary goods or related goods the demand of one depends on the price of another one if there is a change in the price of x it will affect the demand for y related goods so here the elasticity of demand also depends whether substitutes and complementary goods are available or not next one is number of uses of good the same good can be used for different purposes multiple uses so the elasticity also depends on how many uses we can have on that commodity next one is in uh, consumers income elasticity also depends on the income of the consumers next one range of price commodity and degree of price changes how the demand affect uh, how the price affects the demand that means what is the role of price in changing the demand next one proportion of expenditure in consumers family in a consumers family how much proportion is expended and how much is saved if the people are conservative that means they are saving more spending less then it will affect the elasticity if the people are 
uh, spending thrift. That means they are spending more and more money. They are not saving. Then elasticity of different elasticity of demand will be affected due to consumers' income. Next one is proportion of expenditure in consumers' family. How much expenditure the consumers are spending. Next one, durability of the commodity. Whether the com uh, commodities are durable or perishable. Next one, consumer taste, habits, preference, customs, etc. So these are all the factors which influence elasticity. In examination, you may be asked a question regarding what is elasticity of demand and what are the factors influencing elasticity. So just now I have explained you. These are the factors. Now I am going to discuss a very important topic called types of elasticity. Types of elasticity of demand. So broadly we divide into four types. The first type is price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity of demand shows the proportionate change in demand of commodity due to a proportionate change in the price of that commodity. So we are making a relationship between demand and price. So what is the proportionate change in demand for the commodity divided by what is the proportionate change in the price of that commodity. Suppose if there is 1% change in price, what is the percentage change in demand that is called price elasticity of demand. So it can be defined as the extent of response of demand for a commodity to a given change in the price. For a given change in the price, what is the change in demand? So with assumption of other determinants being constant, so we assume apart from price, the other determinants are constant. This is called price elasticity. So what is the formula for price elasticity EP is equal to proportionate change in quantity demanded of commodity. Proportionate change in quantity demanded of that commodity divided by proportionate change in price of that commodity. So numerator will take quantity demanded, denominator will take price, price of that commodity. This is called price elasticity. The next type of elasticity is income elasticity of demand. This income elasticity of demand shows the responsiveness of demand of a commodity due to a change or proportionate change in the income of the consumer. Simply in price demand, we are making a relationship between demand and price in income demand. We are comparing the relationship, we are making the relationship between demand and income. So, income elasticity of demand shows the responsiveness of the demand of commodity due to a proportionate change in the income of the consumers. That's it. So, it is defined as the ratio of proportionate change in quantity demanded to the proportionate change in the income of the consumer. So, mathematically, we can put it in an equation. EI, elasticity, uh, income elasticity of demand is equal to proportionate change in quantity demanded divided by proportionate change in income of the consumer. So you can compare these two formulas. The numerator is same. Proportionate change in quantity demanded. Denominator is different. For price uh, elasticity of demand, denominator we are taking price. Proportionate change in price. For income elasticity of demand, in denominator we will take proportionate change in income. Here price, here income. That is the difference. Next type of elasticity is cross elasticity of demand. This cross elasticity of demand shows the proportionate change in the demand of a particular commodity due to a proportionate change in the price of the related commodity of a related commodity example X and Y two commodities are there both are related then proportionate change in X commodity due to a proportionate change in the price of Y commodity like for example substitutes and complementary goods are called related goods 
example car and petrol complementary i am taking an example of car and petrol so what is the proportionate change in the demand for car when there is a proportionate change in the price of petrol if there is a slight change in the price of petrol the demand for cars will also change that is called cross elasticity of demand another example suppose in case of air air conditioners different brands of air conditioners are there like lg samsung simple example i give you they are substitute a person may buy either samsung or a person may buy lg both are substitute both are related in this case what is the proportionate change in the demand for lg when there is a proportionate change in the price of samsung the samsung company has changed the prices automatically the demand for lg acs will change that is called cross elasticity of demand it is defined as a degree of responsiveness of the quantity demanded of a commodity to a given change in the price of related commodity when the price of related commodity changes the proportionate change in the demand of other commodity symbolically it can be represented as ec cross elasticity proportionate change in the commodity demand of for x x is the commodity where proportionate change in the demand for commodity x divided by proportionate change in the price of commodity y in the price of commodity y x and y are related goods they may be substitutes or they may be complementary goods that's it so three types i have explained you price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand and cross elasticity of demand last one is advertising elasticity of demand another determinant of demand is advertising normally we can see more advertisement more demand more sales less advertisement less demand or less sales so advertising also affects the sales so what is this advertising elasticity of demand advertising is a marketing activity through which the visual or oral messages are addressed to a selected respondents with a view to influence them to buy the product normally we can see advertising on the television on our uh, social media on our youtube so many advertisements will come it's a marketing strategy for selected people to influence them to buy the product that means buying the product depends on advertising demand sales depends on advertising so here the expansion of demand by means of advertisement and other promotional effects can measured by advertising elasticity of demand that means by changing the promotional activity marketing activity automatically there is a change in the sales so simply we can say advertising elasticity of demand means proportionate change in sales due to divided by proportionate change in advertising expenditure so numerator we are taking proportionate change in sales denominator we will take proportionate change in advertising expenditure this is called advertising elasticity of demand that's all so i have explained you in this video regarding the meaning of the term elasticity of demand what are the factors which affects the elasticity of demand and what are the different types of elasticity of demand like price elasticity of demand income elasticity of demand cross elasticity of demand and lastly advertising elasticity of demand so if you are satisfied with my lecture give a like to the video share my channel among your groups among your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge lastly do subscribe my channel and uh, give the comments on these videos so that i can be able to know whether you are understanding you are liking my channel or not inshallah the next topic we will discuss in the next video